What are my seven sins of wet shaving? Stay tuned and find out. folks so we're back with another video and this is a special video because I was challenged by Shantae who's a female type wet shaver and I'm very happy to see uh, some more women making shaving videos that's just great anyway she challenged me to the seven tens of shaving thing um, I'm gonna look towards my laptop periodically so I'll get all these questions right and so let's just get to it number one Greed, the first sin, greed. What is the most expensive and inexpensive um, shaving items you own? And I'll break it down to hardware and software. First, we'll start with hardware. The most expensive is this Pills Razor, which retails for $275. I didn't pay that, but that's what it retails for. And my most inexpensive razor, the Magrid MR5, which I really like, um, 25 bucks. Which one of these guys shaved better? Neither one, they both shave the same. Yes, 275, 25, virtually the same shave. So keep that in mind. All right, on to software. The most expensive soap that I currently own is Martin DeCandre Fougere, which is excellent. Um, the cheapest, Arco, and I also have a Arco cream. It's, it's just a few dollars versus 60 plus dollars. And once again, which one provides for a better shave? They're the same. I enjoy this one more, but in terms of the actual shave, both do a great job. All right, let's go to sin number two, and I held up a one for number two. That's TSE for you. Number two, wrath. Uh, what product do you love uh, and hate? Now, the way Shantae put this, I think she said love to hate, so for that, I'm going to select Mystic Water Soaps, and in particular, Irish travel. <laughs> I really like the scent of this soap, but it can be a pain in the you know what to lather. So to me, this is a love hate product. Sometimes I nail it, sometimes I don't. And you know me, I don't feel like um, going to a lot of effort to do special things to lather soap because there's too many soaps you can lather easily. But anyway, I love to hate this soap, but I still keep it. Uh, Mystic Water Irish Traveler. Number three, gluttony, the most delicious products that you have. Well, let's start with Don Marco um, by Razor Rock. It's such a tremendous orange scent. I love it. It smells delicious to me. It's still one of my favorite soaps. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Eh, I guess, or eh, whatever. I don't know how you say it. <laughs> this stuff just smells good. I mean, literally, you want to take a spoon and eat it. It smells amazing. It's got that uh, maple syrup type uh, scent, and I didn't think I would like it, but I really do. Oh, it's just incredible. Next, Reef Point Soaps Espresso Coffee Lovers. Oh, you gotta have this. I mean, this just smells great. It's, it smells like coffee, a little bit of caramel or caramel, however you guys say it. Excellent. Also, Reef Point uh, Earl Grey and Ginger. I just love the smell of this. Again, it's another unique scent. It's excellent. It smells delicious. And last but not least, Katie's Bubbles Ugh. Irish um, Coffee. I love it. This is just a great soap, great scent. It's delicious. I love it. Okay, let's go to number four, Sloth. What product do you neglect out of laziness? Well, I thought about this and I don't really neglect a lot of things, but I would have to say vinegar used to be part of my den. Why? Because that's what I used to um, soak my badger and boar brushes in when they uh, developed the soap deposit and became stiff and not too effective. I no longer use that, not because I'm lazy, but because I don't need it. Since I've gone mostly to synthetics like the Brush of the God, the Mulas, the Edwin Jagger, so far, I've yet to develop any sort of deposits um, in the fibers of these brushes. Maybe I will over time, but I've got a lot more longevity uh, out of these brushes in terms of not needing to do maintenance. So that's another uh, plus for synthetics in my book, something that you may not have heard about, but it's true in my case. All right, pride. What product are you most proud to have in your DNA? Well, apart 
from the uh, Plasson shaving brush that came from the stallion that contained his essence, which now Khan has in Australia. Um, the Mula Jet, and why? Because only 500 of these were made, sort of exclusive. It's rubbery, it's nice, I like it. Not very many people have it. Not necessarily the best shaver I own, but I'm proud to have it. I'm proud to have a lot of my gear too, so this is just one of them. Lust, what is the one product that you really want but don't have? I would have to say, um, and I have had this product before, Aqua de Parma. Um, why do I not have it? I bought it, and compared to Martin de Candre, which you get a lot of product for 60 bucks, Aqua de Parma was expensive per ounce, and I got rid of it. Um, I think I traded it in part for this jet, if I'm not mistaken, so it was a good trade, but I do miss the scent because it's a wonderful soap. It's just kind of hard to swallow for 70 bucks for three or four ounces, whatever it is. It's just not a lot of product for your money, but I do wish I had it. Envy. Who in the wet shaving community do you envy the most? Well, I thought about this long and hard. And there were a lot of people I could have chosen, but one came to mind. Valerie Horonsky. Why? Because Val not only has DE razors, single edge razors, straight razors, he's got an awesome collection of knives. This guy probably has all sorts of custom Chris Reeves knives, and so I'm throwing that in the den as well. Sharp objects, razors. If I get the knives too, I'm going with Valerie Aronsky Drago, as we call him. So there are my seven sins of shaving. Leroy Jenkins is down here wanting to get on the camera. Stand by. <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, Leroy Jenkins here, has joined us. Sorry for bumping the camera. And uh, who am I gonna challenge? And I apologize if any of these are um, repeats. Jam and GI James, challenging you. Valdi, who I love, I love your videos, Valdi, challenging you. Khan from Shave the Man, challenging you. Ronnie Grayer, who's no longer uh, in Facebook or our groups, but I really miss him, challenging you. And Big Bala Tom Jans. I want to see what you come up with, Tom Jans. So, again, thanks guys for watching. I'm going to shoot a What's New in the Den um, episode right after this video. So, stay tuned for the next video as well. Thanks, guys.